ブルーカウンター Alright, welcome back everyone to the Grand Cross video, and uh, today I wasn't really planning to make this video because, well, as we saw with the, the leaks uh, like a few weeks ago or so, uh, we do know the confirmed characters for Festival, which is Arthur and also uh, Esterosa. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because, well, Arthur is not a Festival type, so who's going to replace him? And that's the whole point of the video. Now, we're going to go over... You know, speculation and predictions, none of it is true, and uh, who knows what he can do, and uh, yeah, we're just going to go off that, right? So, let me start by saying this. Arthur was a festival, but he is red, so it would have made sense for him to be, if he was planned to be a festival, his kit, or not his kit, but like his, uh, as we saw in the leaks, he was supposed to be a festival, or at least he, he was planned to be, and the fact he's also red as well makes sense towards, well, we are missing, we haven't gotten a red festival in a while, so he would have fit the bill, right, to be a festival unit, and uh, I do have a theory that I do think festivals are only safe for special versions of units. Now, obviously, this far into the anime or story, you're only going to get special versions of characters anyways. Like, we get, uh, you know, the one Escanor, Lost Fame Mediolis. We have, uh, like, the Kid Merlin. You know, special versions of those characters. And then, um... I mean, I guess Zeldris was a special version, but kind of. Like, we're going to get Omni... It's never just Zeldris. It's Omni is never Zeldris. So, like, Execution Zeldris, right? That makes sense. But, like I just said, this point in the story, you're only going to get special versions of characters anyway. And then, um, I think it's important to, um point out what the difference is between festivals and holy wars and uh we don't know just yet really because we've only gotten two but i do think it's safe to say that it's um good guys versus bad guys in my opinion now i know a lot of people are going to say oh it's sins versus commandments which um we, it could be true but when we look at what's coming in the future i think it's uh not going to happen the reason why because i still think um What's the name? Uh, Demon Chandler should be a festival type unit because it is the special version of Chandler. And uh, well, he's not a commandment. But then again, I I did say Arthur was going to be a festival type, but he wasn't. But he was planned to be one. So if that theory of um, festivals only being for sins is true, then why did he plan Arthur to be a festival? I know he's not a festival now, but he did plan for him to be one. So... When going in, uh, the same pattern they've always done for the last, uh, I guess, like, what, a few banners now, like the, uh, the, the festivals, they've always done a festival, then a holy war, right? So, the reason why they do this is because the festivals are typically the, the characters that have three banners beforehand. Like, if you notice, we always get a free banner, then we get a festival, then we get a holy war. That's kind of the pattern they do, right? And uh, it makes sense, you know, because it is the Annie in two weeks to three weeks' time, and uh, it makes sense to give us a free banner, just to you know, it's, it's, it adds up, right? Now, could they change it? Of course, they could do, um, you know, a, a free banner before the actual um, Holy War, but then that would imply we're not going to get an actual festival banner, which we could see here. We'll see, boys, we'll see. Uh, but another thing I want to point out too is we, we kind of sometimes get, well, most of the time we get characters based on story mode, right? So we always get, uh, we got, we got Excalibur Arthur because he has shown up. He hasn't gone Excalibur the, the sword yet in the story mode, but he did show up. So I think that might be why we got him. Uh, Lonely Merlin showed up when we got her in story mode. Chandler showed up after we got him in story mode. So they, they kind of give characters based around when they're about to show up or when they show up or after they show up, right? Uh, so it's safe to say if we are going to try and predict the character to come, at least for a festival, they're either going to be in the story mode or they do the exact same thing they did with Zeldris where Zeldris wasn't really shown in the story mode or like he wasn't a big part of it, but he's still given regardless. So, for example, if we are going to base on Sins here, we could see Purgatory, or not Purgatory, we could, we could see a, a Barn. Now, I'm going to say Barn's not going to come because we are kind of very close to getting Purgatory Barn in the first place. So, would it make sense to get a Festival Barn now and get another one in the future? Probably not. Could we see a Festival Gopher? Yeah, actually, we could, actually. Uh, I'm not too sure which one it could be. Maybe a uh, a blue rank-up go for, but a rank-up on a festival type, uh, it'd be a little bit annoying. Uh, we could see, you know, the big go for or even a DPS go for, right? It doesn't have to be a um, a rank-up, although why would you use that go for over the rank-up? It's going to be quite hard for people to use him, right? Now, the big one and something that I may back here is we may see Green Suit Deanne. And the reason why is because, well, if you look at what episode we are currently on, on an anime in the story mode right now in Grand Cross and JP and Global, we are... I believe it's episode 16. So at the end of 15, right, is when Chana transforms. So Gen Arthur, Excalibur, he doesn't get Excalibur or wields it into episode 20. So, you know, we're, we're quite far ahead. And if we are be getting Esterosa, the Holy War version, 
he doesn't show up to episode 23, so we are jumping quite far ahead in the future of characters to get Estorosa for the actual, I guess, for Holy War. So it makes sense if we could get Green Suit Yang, because I do believe she shows up in episode 21 or 19. So she's in between, uh, I guess, uh, Arthur and uh, Holy War Estorosa. So it makes sense for her to come if they do to add, if they want to add her. And uh, to be fair, at least for her, actual like um, her storyline. They can add the one she wants to really. Like she she's she's in the story, but she doesn't really have any big big moments. I mean she kinda does, right? But not comparable to like uh Poetry Barn or Wing King or even like uh another version of uh, Eskinor, basically, or even thing. So I do think if we are gonna get our festival type, it would be uh Diane, but who knows, right? Now another character, since we did kinda skip to episode 20 to get Arthur, right? Is uh Leducia or Margaret. Now can Leducia or Margaret be the second Annie unit? Maybe it will be hype. To be fair, I, I think it's worth. But people kind of complained about getting Elizabeth for the, for the first anniversary. So how would people feel about getting Margaret, right? It makes sense, though, because it is, uh, I guess, um, a special version of Ludicio and a special version of Margaret. But also, as well, it is uh, Elizabeth's sister. So they could kind of tie that together a little bit if they really want to. Uh, but I'm not too sure. Like I say, Arthur does show up in episode 20. And I do believe Ludicio and Margaret does show up in episode... Um, 19 or 21 so once again story wise she could be in the game and uh, i would love to see her as a festival unit because she's one of my most wanted units too actually a while ago I made a video that i didn't get too many views so you may have not seen it but i did make a little what if prediction video about her and i designed her cards so you can kind of see what her what she would look like right uh, but i could see her being a character but then again if they're not going to give Arthur a festival type, like a, a special version of Arthur, are they really going to do it for Margaret or Leducia or Ram? I'm not too sure. But also, we look at the leaks that were uh, leaked a while ago in the beta. Um, there are, you know, these characters that have kind of been confirmed a little bit. You can see Malaska has been cut out, and so is Arthur. Uh, but you, you can see other humans, other giants. It is still an unknown giant, right? So that could be a festival to Yan. Uh, but as you can see, none of these characters kind of fit the bill for a festival type. Yes, maybe Gloxine and Jerol for like a uh, Holy War, but we're talking about festival type here, right? And if you look at the one down here, once again, no actual festival type here, right? So, not too sure what they're going to do here. And if it is a festival unit, this will be when Arthur dies, if that's even a spoiler at this point. So, if you are wondering when we actually are going to get the new festival, it should be on the 27th or the 3rd, right? Around that time. Uh, 3rd of June, I'm what I mean. Because when JP came out, in, uh, I think early start of June, I think, I think it actually might be June 3rd. So, it makes sense to get it right there because that's when it fits the date. Uh, but also as well... I, you know what we could see? If we're not going to get a free banner, like we're not going to get an actual festival type, they very well could just give us, you know, a Holy War, right? Because if Arthur was supposed to be the festival unit, they may have not planned any other festival types. So we may just skip and not even get a festival unit, go straight towards a Holy War Estorosa. And uh, like I did say, very weird to get him because he does show up in episode 23. So this is like the end of season four or three if you're from the UK, I think, or Japan. So I'm not really too sure what they can do, but... Okay, so that's going to wrap up the video. Let me know what you lot think. Could we see a special version of the Yang? Could we see a new Gopher? Could we see a Barn? I still think Barn's kind of unlikely because we are so close to Pugtree Barn. Uh, are we actually going to get a festival-type banner? Or are we just going to skip that and go straight towards the Holy War and get Estorosa? How far are we jumping towards the, the future Grand Cross? Because, to be fair, they're skipping a lot of units too. Like, we're supposed to get Holy War, Ch oh, I guess, uh, you know, Demon Chandler. QSAC, like, what are you doing, lads? I'm kind of excited for it, so we'll see what happens uh, in a few weeks' time. Obviously, stay tuned when we do cover the news as well. But looking forward to it. My personal thing would probably be Leducia or Margaret, or Deanne, to be fair, cause I, I actually do like Deanne. And, um, you know, <sighs> Grand Cross has kind of mugged Deanne and, and Barn. Like, we haven't seen really a good Deanna Barn in so long, so I would love to see two of them. Plus her green suit as well. Lads, you know I love my color, my color green. Uh, so I would love to see a green suit Deanne. But then again, her costume will probably be sick. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see giant metal a thing coming. Oh, you know, it could be, you know. Because the, 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 they are pushing mono races. We just seen four unknown teams of the ReZero units. We just seen four. We just seen four demon teams of Assault Melee. We've now just seen four human teams. Could we see a four giant team? Although it would be kind of bad because there's only two giants, so maybe it's not a good thing. But if you can see like a a draw, the anim Aaron, can Aaron make a comeback because Titan from Aaron is a giant. Who knows, boys? But I'm excited for it. So yeah, thank you for watching and uh, peace.